So we're asking, um, there was a submission of a warrant article back in August, uh, talked about um, in keeping with our CIP of having um, one truck replaced, one three-quarter ton truck replaced, and, uh, our yard horse, and something else. And it came in at some $500,000. Since August, we've, as a department, have struggled uh, immensely with um, our solid waste trucks. Matter of fact, um, we've come to the conclusion that they are reaching the end of their useful life. And in, some, in a number of discussions with uh, the manager, the deputy manager, um, and subtly from even direction from the board, it's come to, you know, we, we've come to the realization that we need to do with this article really what needs to get done this year. Um, the CIP is, is a great plan, but when things are changing on you and they're changing daily, um, you need to take action, and that's why we're here tonight. Specifically, the back in March of 2011, uh, we, we, the town, purchased three... Uh, sidearm trucks along with all the carts that we we picked up and uh, we picked up uh, six transfer trailers those trucks are unit numbers 90 91 and 92 for us this past year we've spent in excess of got it right here $63,642 for carts for carts, for parts, and another twenty-one thousand five hundred and fifty for our <coughs> our own labor and, and some outside labor. Uh, that's a total of eighty-five thousand hundred and ninety-two dollars. These trucks, just the cab chassis, only cost the town seventy-five thousand. So, just in the repair bill alone, we have bought this truck again. Um, in the prior year, the the. And it may come up here. Or, okay. May or it may what does not. it say? Okay, I'll just <laughs> go with my printed notes. Did this nice PowerPoint presentation so I could stay on point. And uh, good rule, it hasn't worked. So we're overspent on that particular budget line, one hundred and thirty-five percent at this time. Um, and I also need to point out that in twenty sixteen, we spent eighty-three thousand uh, one hundred and seventy-nine on the same trucks. So each, for the last two years, we have rebought the cabin chassis. So when we had the discussion internally, well, if it's just the cabin chassis, i.e. the engine, transmission, um, things of that nature, why not just replace those? Or the suggestion was made, why not lease? So we've done a, a lot of work in the last two weeks. Um, we've looked at purchasing. We've looked at uh, remount, just buying a new cabin chassis and remounting our... our our, uh, our existing equipment, the, the uh, packer portion of the truck, and we've also looked at lease to own. Um, we're recommending lease to own for to, to pick up two trucks with a five-year lease. And let me just run over the, very quickly the numbers. If we each truck's about two hundred ninety-five thousand brand new today's dollars, I think we paid two seventy something back in two thousand eleven. If we were to get the two new trucks, it'd be a Warren article six hundred thousand. Um, knowing the financial pressures that are on the town this year, that's why we look to other options. If we took and sent out two of our trucks to put a new cabin chassis under them, basically rebuild them, we'd be looking at a, a Warren article of somewhere around five hundred and thirty-one thousand. It can be done. It takes about eight weeks. The trucks would have to leave town. Uh, they would have to go back up to Canada where Labrie's, ah, there it is, where Labrie's facilities are, and um, total of 531. There you go. So option C, as shown on the screen now, would be to lease to own uh, a Mack truck, or two Mack <coughs> trucks with new, uh, with the new bodies on them. Uh, the first year payment would be 124000 uh, for both trucks. The five-year cost for those lease payments uh, over the whole five years would be six hundred and twenty thousand. Uh, given the type of cab and chassis that we're looking to acquire, um, we believe that these trucks would last the town in ten years. 
or in excess of 10 years. Right now, uh, they've reached, what, six years, and we're rebuying them again. So they're not lasting. Um, we don't see this as a prudent, the current course is a prudent expenditure of town resources. So that's why we're back here with this recommendation to you. Questions? So 600, this is two brand new trucks. Would cost 600000 620000 over 10 years. That's $62,000. Oh, six, oh, I'm sorry, five over years. five years. All right, so 124000 a year, and we're spending like average of 85000 We're spending 85000 Replacing right now, or working on what we have now. Correct. So the cost for this year would be 124000 for 18? Correct. Okay. When the trucks are delivered, you make the first payment, and then the second, 12 months from then, the second payment. Okay. Uh, the manager did work up a warrant article um, with the pro We've been going back and forth and making sure we have a warrant article in uh, in order for this for you to consider. Rusty. No, I think he's. They've done a lot of good work on trying to come back and see what the best way it is for us to do it. The uh, those trucks have been problematic. They were problematic when they were bought. The type of year they are. I know I have a Dodge that's has the uh, regeneration system in it too and when I left here the other night of the meeting and uh, my light came on so I had to go up the highway 30 miles and that's what you have to do with those trucks right? you, you run them around town and, and and if you don't get up and run them around town it clogs and then you're replacing a lot of money so I asked the our head mechanic if if every Friday running them up to let's say 125 and then back down at 65 miles an hour would do it he's basically said no because the other five days a week you're running it so slow you're just going to continue to clog those regeneration systems and that's the you have to do it at least a couple times a week mm -hmm. a couple three times a week to do that but, so yeah. Phil. thank you mr chairman so is is this a motion now uh it would be our recommendation to proceed forward and if someone wants to read the actual warrant article i Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I support your uh, lease purchase, if that's the <coughs> correct um, uh, nomenclature. And I thank you for your research. And it's uh, it's a great uh, management. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, why are these trucks going to be less maintenance? <clears throat> they don't have a. They don't. The regeneration system that Slough and Bridal spoke about that these trucks have on them right now is basically. Uh, it's a, it reheats the gases, and it's attached to the side of the engine. And it doesn't get red hot enough to actually reburn the gases. Therefore, the gases just clog it right up. The, the other trucks that we're going for are specifically Max. They're specifically made for this. It's a cab over design, uh, meaning the cab's right over the front wheels, so it has a much uh, tighter turning radius. They're not trucks that we forced to marry to these, the particular use. As, as it was expressed to me, the trucks that we initially bought should have been used as pickup and delivery trucks <laughs> running back from Boston to Portsmouth every day. Right. They shouldn't have been going 50 feet and stopping, 50 feet and stopping, and that is the problem. Um, so it's the wrong type of cab chassis for the particular use. Uh, so this is a, an actual truck for that use, and also it uses the new, I call it DFN, and I probably have it's DEF fluid. DEF. DEF fluid, which is an additive, fuel additive, so you don't have to have a regeneration system on the engine. Pretty much anybody who had a regeneration system back in 11 is no longer manufacturing those types of engines because they don't work. And what kind of, war is, the, is the warranty on a new vehicle the same as the warranty on a leased vehicle? Yes. And what kind of warranty is that? You, I it, mean, it is something that we would have to buy, but they are, in fact, leased vehicles, and I do have paperwork from MAC that says that um, if in – I know there's certain uh, language in the, in the warrant article that if we elect to back out, uh, it's a municipal release, they would actually pay us for the value, remaining value of the vehicle. Okay, so we would be able to get out of the lease. Yes. Okay. It, it's, it's, it has to be yes, by law. Yes, have to by law. Okay. All right, anybody, you got anything else? All right, motion. Uh, you want me to read the warrant yeah, article, ahead. sir? Please. <clears throat> Shall the town of Hampton vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a five-year lease purchase agreement for two Mack cab-over trucks with Labrie automated side-loader body units 
in the amount of $620,000 and to Rosen appropriate the sum of $124,000 to fund said unit, uh, to, to fund said lease, lease purchase agreement in year one. Said lease purchase agreement shall contain a non-appropriation clause. This is a special warrant article per RSA 32-36 and shall not lapse until the purchases are completed or by March 31st, 2023, which is whichever is sooner, a majority vote is required. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor? Opposed? All right. Four old. There is a second warrant article, Mr. Chairman, and that deals yes. with the piece of Next equipment slide. that's um, left over. One of the in the original warrant article that we proposed back in um, August did include a yard horse. That's a picture of a new yard horse, not the yard horse that we have. For uh, just everyone's terminology, a yard horse is literally, it's not an over-the-road tractor to haul trailers. It's literally, we, this is something we use every single day that the transfer station is open. We as trailers are filled, we actually pull them out of the way and uh, put something, uh, a, an empty trailer back in its place. Um, the current one that we have, and we upgraded from one where the door wouldn't shut and the windows wouldn't roll down and didn't have any heat, to this one, which is a 1980, which has heat and the windows roll up. But it also relies on a um, airbag to actually lift the trailer. Twice in the last year, the airbag has prematurely settled, and we have bent the front legs on two trailers at a cost of about $2,000 a set. Plus, we've taken the trailer out of commission for a number of weeks. If that were to occur July 4th weekend, I'm in a lot of trouble just to be able to handle it. So it's one, it's a safety issue for my drivers. Um, I'm glad no one has been injured uh, to date. <coughs> But we can, for $50,000 or less, go to the used market, get one lightly used uh, that would serve our, serve our purposes very well. Another reason for having it, um, we experienced a trailer fire two years ago, two and a half years ago in April, and it was due to hot coals being deposited in the trailer. And um, during the weekend and on Monday morning, it, the trailer ignited. Uh, we were not able to work with the fire department to put the trailer, the fire out because we couldn't eject the load. Uh, the, the yard horse that we have has no hydraulic capability. It takes a hydraulic pump basically to, to move the, to eject the waste. Um, so this yard horse that we'd be looking to get has that capability in the event something like that occurred again. Questions? Okay. Um. So this is a separate warrant article. We've broken the previous one into two. And you can get a used one, but it will be? There's five of them on the market right now for 50000 or less. And it will have the safety components. We need hydraulic connection, windows, heat, and use that isn't going to cost us to continually repair. And I can't, I can't see that this one is worth much anymore. Would that be? Uh, if, we, the, if the red one that we have, we might get three grand for it, four grand when we turn it back in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All set. Uh, a motion? Warrant article. <clears throat> Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $50,000 for the purchase of the following replacement vehicle for the Department of Public Works? One replacement yard horse tractor. The replaced vehicle to be traded in if deemed to be prudent by the public works director, town manager, and board of selectmen. There shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32-76 and shall not lapse until these purchases are completed, until the purchase is completed, and, or by March 31st, 2019, whichever is sooner, a majority vote is required. This is the article that was for $522,000. So moved. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. Anything else? No. That's enough. 